So I don't have kids. I did date somebody who's got teenagers, though. Ooh, lucky me, huh? Yeah, what do you mean you won custody? <laughs> So I don't know much about raising kids. I've not had them. I have taken care of a dog for like 15 years. I just apply the same methods. Yeah, the other day I was babysitting my nephew. He threw a temper tantrum. I didn't know what to do until I remembered, you know, my dog settled down quite a bit once he was neutered. <laughs> my brother was mad. <laughs> I saw a TV show, a woman had a dog with obsessive compulsive disorder. I know, I'm not making this up. The dog had a stick and he'd run around the backyard and he'd bury it, unbury it, bury it, unbury it all day long with a stick. Yeah, she finally put the dog on Prozac. <laughs> $75 a month, I'd throw away the stick. <laughs> so I don't want to pass on my genes. I think that's the whole thing with the kids. The most prominent feature about my whole family, we all have big feet. You guys can see my shoe size. That is actually a 12 triple A. Thank you for making me feel good. All right, yay. I'm okay with it now, but it was embarrassing in first grade. <laughs> One day our class went on a nature hike. The park rangers came across my footprints, closed the park, spent the weekend tracking me. <laughs> those tranquilizer darts hurt. <laughs> well, comedians are perfect to talk about using humor in change situations because we're in change situations every single week. We're in front of a different audience, different uh, industry, different city. Uh, this, in fact, I've got four cities this week, so uh, I'm from different groups. And like these are set up great. The, your group has done a wonderful job setting the keynotes up so you can see me, you can hear me. Uh, and the keynotes are great. It's the comedy shows. I've been doing this uh, 24 years now, and I've done lots of comedy shows at night for um, corporations and associations. And sometimes they set up the weirdest setups where I have to use humor to change the energy to get people in the mood for humor. <laughs> And I did this uh, comedy show for a hospital once, and they were giving out their service pins for years of service. They gave out 292 service pins, and people walked to the stage, got their pin, walked back. 292! I got on stage at midnight. I looked around, I said, you know, I think I got my five-year pin just sitting here. And what I did in both of those situations, and my first tip, using humor to diffuse tension and change the energy, my first tip...